Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Teniola Shoboale. We begin in South Africa where at least 10 people have died after a bus traveling from Cape Town to the Eastern Cape overturned in the early hours of this morning. Traffic officials say another 30 passengers were injured in the accident which occurred at around 2 a.m. local time. The traffic chief for the Western Cape, Kenny Africa, says the driver lost control of the vehicle, which then overturned. South Africa has a very poor road safety record, despite having the continent's most modern road network. More than 14,000 people were killed in road accidents last year. Staying on with South Africa, many immigrants have fled the main township of Soweto following xenophobic attacks, which has claimed three lives. Violence broke out after locals accused a Somali shop owner of shooting a teenager and his friend who allegedly tried to break into his store. Police believe this triggered chaotic scenes of looting and violence which spread to other areas of the town. A total of 27 people have been arrested. Officials condemned those who had taken the law into their own hands and described the disturbances as equivalent to anarchy. Let's get more on this story now from our South Africa Bureau Chief, Betty Dibia. Betty, hello. Once hello. again, South Africa is experiencing another xenophobic attack. What more can you tell us about this violence in Soweto? Well, um, I guess this is the one. It, ha it happens in small packages in, small, in other areas, but this is the one that got the headline. Uh, what happened, the right sequence of events, a few days back, I think on the 28th or 27th of uh, uh, August, uh, messages going around uh, WhatsApp was saying uh, fellow South Africans, we're tired of Somalians, we're tired of Pakistanis and the rest. They're killing our families with their fake and expired products, uh, food products especially. So we're going to attack. No one should go to work. Um, uh, um, I, I think that's where it started. And a particular, the first person who was killed is a 23-year-old a young man called uh, Banele Kaiso, and his brother, in whose arms he died, said his brother was a paying customer, and this incident met him while he was buying. And while they were, while, while the community members who were allegedly looting uh, uh, came into the place, the, the owner of the spaza shop, which is what like what we call the Malam shops in Nigeria. Uh, uh, shot, and he was the person who was who who you know fell uh, to 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 that bullet, and now it fueled more attacks, and and the the, the, the looting continued, and and people were saying yes, we're doing this for Banele, although his brother disputed that, saying I really don't understand why this should be going on. So uh, uh, we we had we heard news some weeks back saying some substandard products are being sold by some of these uh, foreign nationals. Uh, that has an, and the, the, the foreign nationals are saying, could you please give us proof, you know, so that we'll take it from there. And these are people who live in the communities, they sell to the community, they live in the townships. White City, for example, where this incident took place is a, is a township area within Soweto, the main Soweto, which is quite big. And um, it's really unfortunate, you know, that this is happening. Many managed to flee and they sought refuge at the Moroka police station, which is another area in Soweto as well. And at the moment, we understand that uh, three, three people so far died in the incident and some people were injured as well. 27 arrested, including those who may have shot. So two arrested for, for murder and one for attempted murder as well. So what are the authorities doing exactly to prevent this? Um, it's unfortunate preemptive uh, actions, you know, it, it's lacking in this case, especially when this message was going around. I remember commenting saying, this is an excuse for looting and this will not end well. Uh, and, and in line with that, the Deputy Police Minister, uh, Bongani Ponki, uh, on national TV admitted that the uh, Crime Intelligence Department of the South African Police Service, you know, failed to provide the necessary intelligence. But, you know, this was glaring. Um, but that they failed to provide the necessary intelligence for the police on the streets to handle this crisis. So they admitted, a lot of people have condemned this, the South African Human Rights Commission and, and various political parties are jumping into this as well, saying, and, and some South Africans on the streets as well. We understand even while it happened, some of those who were, were like stuck in their, their shops 
uh, were rescued by the police. But they didn't do much regarding the looting because we were looting on live television. Uh, we, we hope more preemptive action will be taken to prevent this. A lot of social cohesion attempts are being done, but it's, it's not the same, especially when people are incensed in this manner, getting people to calm down before the looting and the attacks stuck. Some people were beaten up, some of the foreign nationals as well during this uh, incident. Finally, Betty, let's talk about the bu bus accident in eastern Cape Town that killed at least 10 people. Do we know what caused that crash? Not exactly, but from it hasn't been confirmed, but from the, the, the bus service uh, where this uh, double-decker bus uh, came from, it says that a kudu, which is a kind of antelope, you know, hopped on, on the road. And remember, the, the, the bus was traveling at night or, or in the early hours of the morning and hopped on the road. Then the driver lost control and, and, and uh, <clears throat> it overturned. Because of the time that it happened, um, rescue, <coughs> I beg your pardon, the emergency services raced to the area to try to get some people out, some children were airlifted, some people, some of those who died, died under the bus before it, they could be taken out. Um, and um, it, it's, it's one of the unfortunate things that South Africa has a fantastic uh, road network, but sometimes the human error, human factor, and the fact, and most of these things happen, you know, when the night travels happen, and the animals, you, it's, an, it's a country with a lot of animals as well, but as I said, I haven't, I, I, we don't have independent confirmation, uh, apart from what the bus service has said, that an animal jumped on the road, and the driver lost control, and, and, and uh, the bus overturned, but 10 people have died so far. And Our South Africa Bureau Chief, Betty Debia, thank you for keeping us updated on that. Thank you. Thank you.